right, Matt, it is finally time for a co-main event of the evening, UFC 248. Really looking forward to it coming at us live this Saturday from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Matt, it's five minutes because we have a title on the line in our co-main event at Women's Strawweight between your current champ, Zhang Wei Li, taking on Yoani and Jacek and Matt. For Zhang Wei Li, she's a fighter, and she's only had four fights in the UFC. She's been like a buzzsaw through this division. I mean, just continuing to just rain. Uh, uh, it's It's been excellent dominance from the Chinese fighter, first Chinese champ in UFC history, but she's taken on a tough test in Yuan Yin Jacek. This is somebody that's set the record because there really hasn't been anybody else that's done what Yuan Yin Jacek has in this division. Five straight title defenses before losing twice in a row to Rose Nam Yunus, getting her belt from the inaugural champ, Carla Sparza, I mean, this is somebody that's really been there and done that at not just 115 pounds, but she had a pretty decent fight at 125 for the belt. Unfortunately, did not win against Valentina Shevchenko, but she was given the opportunity based on the fact that she absolutely ran through Tisha Torres up here in Canada. It was a UFC Calgary card. We had all sorts of great fights, but that was on the main card. And one of those highlight types of fights coming off two straight losses that got her into that spot. Now, Matt, this is such a fun fight. Where do you want to go from here? So it's a really interesting fight, but I feel like it's being marketed not in the right way. I feel like we have two very good volume strikers who are going to go out there and really show class their striking skills for 25 minutes. But it seems like everyone's marketing this as, oh, can you want to out volume Wei Li, Zhang, or yeah, Zhang Wei Li, or... Is it going to be the other way around? And will Zhang Weili get a knockout over Yuani and Jacek? And I don't really understand why it's being marketed that way. Due to the fact that I get it, Weili won by knockout over Jessica Andrade, who basically put her head down and just ran face forward into her. Uh, I Yuana's not going to do that. You can say what you want about Yuana at this stage of her career. Maybe she has lost a beat ever since she was champion. But one thing she isn't, she's not irresponsible in her striking. I know Rose was able to put her down in their first fight. and their second fight, very competitive. Of course, she did lose again. But she's a very calculated striker, and you're going to have to find openings against her they're not really going to just present themselves like a Jessica Andrade would be able to. Now, Matt, we backed away a little bit from the UFC stats. And listen, I'm talking to you, the viewer. If you're following along with some of those UFC stats, it's a little sketchy. And normally with a fighter like Zhang Weili, she's only had four fights in the UFC. We wouldn't look at them at all because it's just too small of a sample size. But where she's gone on such a run and then become the champ, I think it's very important to Matt. It's a good point that you bring that up, the fact that who can out-volume who? Because if you actually look at the hard numbers... These women are very close they in are. terms of striking metrics. I'm going to read them off for you. Strikes landed per minute for Wei Li, the champ, 6.22 per minute. For Yoani and Jacek, 6.18. You look at the accuracy. It's actually the champ that's more accurate, slightly at 49% compared to Yoani and Jacek's 47%. Strikes absorbed per minute for the champ, 2.24. For the challenger, 2.73. For defense overall, 63% for the champ versus 65% for Yoani and Jacek. We're splitting hairs at this point. They're very, very similar in terms of their volume and the, the percentages that they're getting hit. But the thing for me is we've seen it from Zhang Wei Li recently. It's that power. It's that knockout that we saw for her to get the win over Jessica Andrade. It's such a close fight in terms of the odds. The champ is a minus 180 favorite. For Ian J. Check, the challenger, plus 150. If you look over in topology, a little bit more cut and dry out of 561 votes. 66% siding with the champ. 60% saying that she's going to win by knockout. How do you see this one? So it's going to be interesting. One thing about Zhang Weili, we've never seen her with the whole head games that Yoana does. That's the problem. Like all of fight week, Yoana's in your face yelling crazy stuff. She's the boogie woman. She went a little overboard. She went a little, okay, but still. The problem is, is a lot of fighters just aren't mentally prepared for that. And I'm not saying Zhang Weili won't be. It's just something you do have to consider when you're going into it. Not saying maybe I had an X Factor last week that came into play, but that's my X Factor. Does Zhang Weili have what it takes, not only as a fighter, but as a champion, to be able to kind of get over, not even just fighting Yoana, just getting to the cage with all that going on? It's going to be a fun fight, though. Again, I've said this for so many fights already. This could be your fight of the night, because Yoana and Jacek, she's been knocked out. There's no quit in that woman whatsoever. Like, she wants to be champion more than anything in the world. And Zhang Weili, who's such a good champion, and I, I made this comparison earlier, and I, I kind of went back on it. It takes a division kind of time to breathe to really create a champion who's so much better than everyone else. We saw it in Bantamweight. Uh, Ronda Rousey was so dominant, beating everyone, records, you know, being on Jimmy Kimmel, being on Ellen. She was a really big deal. And then she lost. And then the title just kind of changes hands a few times. And then it kind of goes, not really to the rightful owner, but it finally gets to a champion who just stays that champion for a while. 
Not saying that Zhang Wei is going to win this fight solely based on that, but I feel like Strawweight's finally had enough time to sort of breathe as a division so that, you know, sort of, we can see the contenders who rise to the top and we can see who stays at the top. Yuana's definitely been able to stay at the top. She took her losses not great, but she still stuck around. She's still extremely competitive. And I think this is going to be a phenomenal fight. Took her last loss quite well. She Valentina did. Valentina Shevchenko comes back to 115, gets the win over Michelle Watterson in a fight night main event. And then all of a sudden, hey, back in title picture at 115 now. I think that your champ's going to get the win here really? in Zhang Wei Li. I think she's going to be able to get it done. Another interesting stat, and I don't think it's going to have a lot of bearing in this fight, but in her last two fights, she's fought women who are decent wrestlers in Jessica Andrade, and we didn't have to see it there, and in Tisha Torres. And it doesn't matter about the other two fights. It really doesn't. It really boils down to that upper echelon of talent. But she has a 100% takedown defense rate, which is interesting. You're probably not going to see it from Yoni and Jacek at all. But it's one of those things that you have to keep in, your back, in the back of your mind and in your back pocket because it's going to be a striker's affair in this fight. And I think that Zhang Wei Li is going to be able to get the win here. As much as I want to agree with Craig, I do want to win that trophy, and I'm pretty sure all of her picks have been the same. So not saying that this is why I'm picking Ioana. I've never seen Zhang Weili in that fourth or fifth round with someone who just won't go away, with someone who's going to stay in your face. We saw with Ioana, even in the loss to Rose Namajunas in the rematch, she put it on her in that fourth round. And for a lot of the fifth, too, like, she comes on strong in those later rounds, and it's just so much of an unknown with what Weili can do in those later rounds that I'm going to pick Ioana, because I don't think of Zhang. If Zhang can't knock her out, I don't think she can beat her throughout a decision. I'm going to pick Ioana and Jacek by decision, and I'm not even sure if I'm happy with that pick. Matt going with the deeper waters, but hey, yeah. we're talking about deeper waters. You're not going to want to miss the five-minute prediction for a mean. Right event. It's a great fight there between Israel Adesanya and Yoel Romero. We also have two-minute predictions for the rest of our fights on the card. UFC 248 with Fight Name Picks. We always say, Matt, let's get into it.